The truth about what happened on the fateful night when the legendary vessel sank has been revealed. And it is as shocking as it is eye-opening. But we have to start from the beginning. On April 10, 1912, RMS Titanic, with over 2,200 people on board, set sail from Southampton, England to New York. And you know what happened next. Was it possible to avert the tragedy? Were there any warning signs? Shockingly, yes. There was even a prophecy foretelling the historic tragedy. And that's just one of the mysteries that surround the epic vessel. To unveil them, we will have to dive deep underwater. So press that subscribe button and let's get started. The construction of the famous ship took three years and required the labor of 15,000 workers. Death was accompanying the grandiose ship even before it reached the waters, as eight people died during construction. Yet this was only the first page of disaster, and popular opinion didn't seem to care. It was seen as indestructible. It was viewed this way for a reason, since it was the biggest ship ever made at the time. Titanic's weight was a record-breaking 64,000 tons. To put that into perspective, it's the same as over 3,000 Class 8 trucks put together. It was 175 feet tall and 882 feet 9 inches long, which means that Titanic was longer than three Statues of Liberty put on top of each other. Today, a size like this is not impressive anymore, as the current biggest cruise ship in the world, the Symphony of the Seas, is five times heavier and more than 300 feet longer than the RMS Titanic. The interior of the Titanic was just as jaw-dropping and filled with contrasts. The ship was prestigious, and the bigger part of it was designed to fit the needs of the rich. The interior was designed to resemble the famous Ritz Hotel in London, and it was filled with first-class amenities, such as a swimming pool, gym, Turkish baths, and beauty salons. It was sparkling with luxury, and there was even a special place for first-class passengers' dogs, where they were taken care of and pampered. Yet, these lavish luxuries were not for all of the passengers. There were 700 third-class passengers aboard, and there were only two bathtubs for all of them to share. A ship this massive cost $7.5 million. Taken into account the changes in exchange rates and the effects of inflation, today, this price would equate to almost $180 million. Interestingly, no matter how much it seems, this wouldn't even be enough to make a movie about the same ship, as the 1997 James Cameron movie, Titanic, cost $200 million. Yet, the movie made over $2 billion at the box office, which would be enough to build more than 10 Titanics. Four days after departure, tragedy struck. It was April 14th, 20 minutes to midnight. RMS Titanic hit an iceberg, and in several hours at 2.20 a.m. of April 15th, it sank under the ice-cold Atlantic waters. A ship that took three years to build was gone in less than three hours. The RMS Titanic hit an iceberg which weighed over 70 million tons, resulting in 1,503 people losing their lives, and the unsinkable ship sinking. Was it possible to avoid the tragedy? Titanic might have been equipped with everything that a luxurious ship would need, but it lacked one detail which eventually proved to be vital. Lifeboats. The lack of lifeboats was the most crucial shortcoming of this critical situation. Initially, the RMS Titanic was designed to have 48 lifeboats. Instead, the number was reduced to 20 because of aesthetic reasons, to make the ship look less cluttered. The decision to reduce the number of lifeboats did not seem controversial or shocking, because who would need them in the greatest ship ever built? the unsinkable Titanic. But even if they had enough of them, the accident would have resulted in lost lives because the crew were not prepared for a situation like this. Edward J. Smith, the captain of RMS Titanic, canceled lifeboat drill exercises for reasons unknown on the morning of the fateful day. This would have enabled the crew to react faster 
and thus save more lives. But they were not prepared, and the first lifeboat was launched over an hour after the iceberg struck. The capacity of the boat was 65 people, yet it was lowered into the water with only 28 people aboard. Crewmen were encouraging passengers to board, but apparently people were unwilling to step in because they did not realize the seriousness of the situation. It must have been hard to accept the fact that the unsinkable ship on which they were aboard would disappear underwater forever in just a few hours' time. The unpreparedness of everyone involved resulted in 1,503 people losing their lives in the cold and dark Atlantic waters. Shockingly, there were more signs which, if they hadn't been ignored, could have saved the lives of these people. The possibility of hitting an iceberg was not something to be expected. On the contrary, the day when the accident happened, Captain Edward Smith received six warning messages informing him that the ship had entered an area with an increased density of icebergs. The captain chose to ignore the messages, and he did not slow the ship's speed. Slowing down might have meant that they would reach New York later than planned, and being late was out of the question for a ship with such a reputation. But ignoring the signals turned against the Titanic. While the ship was already sinking, it sent distress signals into the sky calling for help. SS Californian, a ship that was about five miles away, saw the flares in the sky, but did nothing. It was the closest ship to Titanic, and if its captain had made the decision to act, many lives would have been saved. However, karma was about to strike against the SS Californian. It was sunk on November 9 by a German submarine during World War I. There is one more detail in the story of Titanic, which makes it all seem even more cryptic. Back in 1898, before the disaster, American writer Morgan Robertson published a story called Futility. This name was later changed to The Wreck of the Titan. And the similarities of the real RMS Titanic are uncanny. The name of the fictional ship is Titan. It is also described as unsinkable. It's a story about a ship which sinks in the Atlantic Ocean after striking an iceberg. And the reason behind most passengers' deaths were a shortage of lifeboats. It's up to you to decide what this means. How can a fictional novel written 14 years before the accident bear so much information about the actual forthcoming events? Was it a prophecy? The second question was, where is the Titanic? It took 73 years until the ship was finally found in 1985, laying at 12,500 feet in depth, broken in half and with its wreckage scattered at a radius of one mile. After the ship was found, another mystery arose. Scientists and explorers, after having investigated the wreck, found furniture, dishes, clothes, various remainders of the past human activity. But there were no bodies. How can it be that in a disaster where over 1,500 lives were lost, no bodies remained at the location? Titanic lays so deep and the atmospheric pressure there is so strong that no human body can withstand it. Bones get crushed and with decades passing under salty ocean water, the organic material of the bodies was dissolved, not to mention the sea life which consumed the organic material as food. But there's one more detail. Even though the wreckage of RMS Titanic was found more than 30 years ago, in another 30 years, the remains of the great ship will most likely disappear forever. An underwater bacteria that eats metal is thriving on the Titanic wreck. Not only does it accelerate the disintegration of the unsinkable ship, it is speculated that it will turn all that is left of it into a pile of dust in around 20 years. If you're sad about the fact that the RMS Titanic is slowly disappearing, there is some good news for you. 2019 might be the first year when underwater trips to visit the legendary ship will be organized. The tickets are difficult to get. The price is $105,000 per person. If you want to go there, it's recommended that you don't hesitate because the first voyage is already fully booked. 
The RMS Titanic may have sunk, but its legend lives on. If you like this video, then leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Here's plenty of room for not only Rose, but Jack and everyone else as well. See you next time when we cover another mysterious topic.